Bonjour to Le Monde. Tis I, John Mitchell, from such progressive rock acts as Frost, Lonely Robot, It Bites, Kino, Why No, Why Not. I've lost count. Let's leave it at that. I'm here to talk to you briefly about vinyl and record stores, because obviously at the moment we're all self-isolating, aren't you? Aren't you? We well, should be. And that's had a massive effect on various industries, but your humble uh, local record store will obviously uh, have to be closed at the moment. But that's uh, a thing that has affected many industries and businesses. But I love vinyl. I'm here to talk about vinyl and my love of it. OK, you can still buy vinyl online. You know, you don't have to go a browsing. You can go browsing when this is all over. But at the moment, a lot of these shops have had to close and uh, losing their income. So I would encourage you, if you love vinyl, don't forget you can clickety-click, pick up sticks, go online and buy vinyl there. Yes, you don't have to go touchy-feely in the stores. It's still it's all available online. It's called the internet. I know, somebody told me about it yesterday, newfangled. My mind was blown. Anyway, with that in mind, I'd like to talk to you about a few of my favourite vinyl records. OK, here we go. First up, the record I've been listening to recently is Television Themes by one Matt Berry. He is a comedian and known best for Toast of London and the IT crowd, but he is also a consummate musician. And here he reimagines television themes throughout the uh, the decades in his own particular style. I love this record very much. OK, secondly, I'd like to talk about this record. This is one of the first records I ever got. It's called Business as Usual, which is obviously not what's happening at the moment in the world. Business is not happening as usual. It's by Men at Work. Colin Hay, uh, he's a, 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 a wonderful singer, a very witty guy. He's also got a documentary on Amazon at the moment, and uh, you might want to go and check that out. It's hilarious. Okay. And last but not least, no discussion of vinyl would be complete without... Let me see. What's next? Oh, my God. What the hell is that doing there? Sorry, that's a mistake. Don't look at that. Here we go. The police. Regatta de Blanc. Now, normally I would select Outlands Os de More as my go-to police album, but I can't find it. And as you can see, there's a rather wide selection of vinyl. And this came first. So I would thought I'd give this a, 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 a man mention and a shout out. If you have managed to find this on vinyl, please do buy it. It's a wonderful album. It's the difficult second album. But not difficult in the hands of the police, because obviously Sting was in charge, a very talented gentleman. And it's called Regatta de Blanc, which is literally translated as White Reggae. And it's a wonderful album. And even if you don't play vinyl, I think you'd agree this looks cool and will look cool on your wall. It's an iconic favourite. Yes. OK, so go and support your local record store. They probably got an online purchase section. Go buy. Do as I do. OK, enjoy self-isolating. Do.